welcome to my channel on today's video i'll be showing you how you can cut your senator dress so if this is the first time you are checking on this channel please click on the subscribe button and stay to the end of this video and then if this is the first time you are trying to make a kaftan so this video will guide you on making your first kaftan ever and i'm sure you will get a perfect result if you follow the video to the end so on a, if you are a professional i'm sure this video will guide you in achieving the best results also it will guide you it will also add to your previous knowledge i'm very sure of that you will gain one or two things from this video so i implore you to stay till the end of this video so if this is the first time you are checking on this channel please click on the subscribe button uh, yeah, and then uh, make your comments turn on your notification bell so that whenever i drop an amazing video like this you'll be notified so please let's go on and uh, get started so this is the measurements we are using the length is 32 back 17 sleeve 24 these are chest 38 and the neck is a 16. now the trousers the trouser length is a 38 and a half waist is a 28 our tie is a 23 the hanko which is the bottom of the of the trouser is a six and a half the nail is a 16 while uh, the hip is a 30 34. so please follow up the measurements so that's the measurement we are we are using fold your material into two the way it's normally come i'm using a senator material for this so some call it senator material some call it bell if you ask you can also use a cashmere that is how cashmere normally come as well so it's, this is how it's come they normally fold it into two from a factory like this it's folded into two but what we do now please lay it very well you lay your material lay your material maybe make sure that there is no rumple on the material so it already lay like this then you double fold it again mm -hmm. so i'm having the four layers now i'm having four layers make sure that it's straight till the end so this process is an easy process if have to cut your kaftan so i'm folding into four now one two three four so that is a, the way to fold your material now just roll it vertically make sure that the line is straight just to have a straight edge so you cut it out now so on this edge now we apply our measurements so remember the length and see that I'm not cutting out anything yet. I just fold it into four. Mm -hmm. So just fold it like that. Then apply your measurement, which is a 32. 32. I'm leaving a half inch upward, half inch here, which should be my same allowance. Whenever I want to sew, that's half inch upward. Then measure 32. 32. That's my normal length 32 then my down folding what i will use to fold the down part the down part of the trot of the senator dress i'm adding three inches for down folding then the back allowance now the back drop which will make my dress to be longer than the the back to be longer than the front yeah, please I'm taking my time to explain all this so that you get it perfectly the back to drop to the front I'm adding a three and a half to this so this depends on the measurements you can as well add three you can add three and a half but for this let me add three let me add three because the length is a is not a that much so here now I first add a three inches for the down folding then three for the back drop which make the back to be longer than the than the front so the total that i'm having now is a 38 and a half so measure 38 and a half here as well 38 and a half so then just roll it out roll 38 and a half then you put So 
Now, the next thing to do is to fold, cut the foot front and the back. So, so I'm separating the material now. I'm separating the material. So I'm picking one layer, then I'll fold it inward. Fold this like this. So now to get my body now. The body. <coughs> the body is a the chest is a 38. So remember that we are folding our material into into two now. So the back is in two. Normally we have we normally divide our chest to get a body chest is a chest divided by four. So this is a 38 divided by four. That is 9.5. That would be our chest. 9.5 is what we are measuring now. So now, but, but for same allowance, you had three. So now we are measuring 9.5 plus, plus 3, that's a 12.5. So that's what I'm measuring now. This 3 is for sewing allowance. So now, this 9.5. Twelve point five. This is twelve point five. So now measure twelve point five here. Twelve point five here. And now this way, this cut it out. This is the front. Now for the back. We also measure 12.5 for the back. But in my back, I want to have a back slit like this. So the back slit like this. I want to include this on the back. Hmm? I want to include this to the back. So now, instead of a cutting 12.5 here, I will add it to my back. This is the front. To my back now, I will add it 2 to it. That's a 14.5. So, this 2 now is for back slit. Hmm? So, now, I'm measuring. 14.5 here. 14.5 here. This method is very easy and simple to understand if you follow the normal procedure. So, so just what is it? Fourteen point five. Then just cut it out. Now, the black slits that I had, I will roll it out now, which is two. Two. Measure it and roll it up. This is two. This is two. 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 That is for the back slit. So now the next thing is to lay the front that I've cut already 
on the back. So I'm cutting both the back and the front together. Can you see it? This is now its line. Why I also have my back slit around here. This is the back slit. It's not part of the measurement. So now, the three inches that I had to the front, don't forget that I've not cut it out. So now, I'm cutting out the three inches, which is for the back drop. So with this method, you don't need to be cutting your front separately and then back separately. Just cut it out, cut both measurements out. Then you're making the adjustments when you're cutting the normal the measure the pattern itself. I want to slant the the front, the back. I want to slant it. But the slanting depend on the measurements. You can have you can have one, you can have one point five, you can have two I have 2.5 you can use as a sharp three. that is for my slant but here I'm using a 2 hmm? this is the average hmm? but if you have a someone that have a drop shoulder or the, the chest of a 46 you can as well use a 2.5 so here now I'm using a 2 for my slant so the point where you will get your slant is not from the extreme of your material but on the shoulder then as well don't slant your don't slant your clothes from the back center here you slant from the neck side here remember that here is straight why a drop shoulder starts from here so you don't slant from the back here you slant from here so the let me use a 2.5 for this i'm using 2.5 so from this 2.5 now the first thing is that I measure the back. The back is a 17, and the 17 divided by 2 will give me 8.5. Yeah, is a 8.5. So it is 8.5. So at this junction now, that's where my 2.5 must fall. Two, 2 inch rather. My 2 inch must fall here. Not at the extreme here. Please don't make that mistake. My 2 inch for slanting we must meet at this point from the back on here it must, must meet at the back here not at the extreme of the material so i'm slanting from the next side not from the center back so this also affects your dress sometimes and also cause a folding by the side as well then another thing is that instead of using a straight ruler you can use a this cuff hmm? you can as well use this cuff to make it mostly I advise to use this cuff for the back slant not straight ruler the reason is that if you check our back not that our back is is straight our shoulder doesn't straight it's come a little bit slopy not something that does come shaped straight so if you check if you're, if you're into suit cutting you see that back shoulder normally cut slopy not something that come down straight so if you have this cuff you can use it but if you are see if you can if you want to use a normal straight Line, there's no problem, but as well use it. But I advise to use the off to do that. So just use that. Then cut this out. So now the next thing to do now, consider I'm cutting both the back and the front together. So the next thing now is to drop down the material. So now you can see this is the front, this is the front, why this is the back. So the next thing now is to cut our neck and shape our shoulder. So now you fold the back to the front and let it overlap on the front with a half inch. Then use the iron to press it so that you get the back line. You get the back line. it overlap on the front 
this overlap on the front with a half inch. You can see. So this will have a folding allowance. Putting a folding allowance, joining allowance to configuration there. So now this has given me the back line. Okay? So this has given me the back line. So now I'm unfolding it again. So now the next thing is to cut our neck. And the neck is a 16. That's the neck. So the formula to cut the neck is a, the neck. We have a length hmm? and have a width. So the length is a this is the length of the back. Why this is the width? So the length, this is the length, this is the width. Hmm? So this is the length, this is the length. This is the width. So now, this together constitutes total neck. Now, to get the formula to get a neck is a neck is a length. Now, let's take a. Remember that we have folded our material into two, so we are cutting this one now. So we divide our neck divided by two. So now we are having sixteen as our neck divided by two. That is a eight. That is the half of the neck. So now to get the length, the length will be 8 divided by 2, divided by 2 plus half inch. So 8 divided by 2 plus half inch is what? Is 4 plus half. Equals to 4 and half. That is the length. Now the width is a this four and a half, whatever we get as a length, will be divided by two. That's a two point two point two. That's a two point two for our neck. What two? Two point quarter. Hmm? It is it. It is it on the table. This is a two and a half. Why did it say two point two? Or two and quarter. As we are, that's how to get our neck. So now, what we are measuring now for the length, we have a four and a half. So fold it like this. So from here now, measure four and a half. From this point, measure four and a half. I've done a comprehensive video on how to cut your neck. So. If you are not clear with this, you can as well check out that uh, video as well. So the width now, hmm? so the width now to be on the front. So the width now is a two point two or two one quarter. So that's a two one quarter. Now two one quarter. So if you have a cuff, if you have a cuff, you can make use of your cuff to get your neck. Pull it out. But if you don't have cough, you can as well use your free hand. You can as well use free hand. So, guys, we we'll cut out the front first. Cut out the front. Then, lay the back on it. Whenever this place for just wash it. Hmm? Now, from this point now, this point, this back line now, then just place your cuff there again, like this, again, roll it, that is it, that is how to cut our neck, so the next thing is to move to the back, so our back is a 17. Back is a 17. 17. So to get our back now to be 17 divided by 2, that's an 8 and a half. So we are using 8 and a half here now. 8 and a half. Then you add a same allowance. Because we used to join the back to the sleeve now is a half inch. 
So that is it. So now you have a nine inches here. So come down here as well. Measure nine inches. Measure nine inches. Then roll it down. Roll it down. Now the next thing is to get our ammo. Is to get our ammo. So now please, I'm trying to give you all the formula for the for this thing so that if even if you are cutting another measurement that's different from the one I'm using, you'll be able to you make use of the formulas that I've been given to arrive at the normal measurement for your for, for whatever the person you are making the clothes for. So now to get a hammer now. So if you also want to watch a video on the how to cut hammer, I'll also make a separate video for this as well. So you can as well check it out. To get a hammer is a chest divided by four minus two. So now our chest is what 38. 38 divided by four minus two equals to 30 divided by four is a nine and a half or let me say nine point five hmm? minus two. That will give me seven point five. So my arm all length now will be 7.5. So here now measuring 7.5 here. But sometimes I try to increase the ammo. Sometimes I minus two, sometimes I minus half. I mean sometimes I minus one. Sometimes I minus two. Here yeah, I minus 1.5. Sometimes I minus one. So this is not constant. What I minus there is not constant. This depends on the how you want the clothes to be fit on the person's body. If you want it to be very fitted, you can use two. Or if you don't want it to be that much fitted, you can use a 1.5 or you use a one inch. But here, yeah, I don't want to use a this two. Let me use a one one inch. Let me use one inch. So here now I minus I was minus one inch from here. So this depends, this too is not constant. It depends on how you want the clothes to be on the person. If you want it to be very fitted, you can use two. If you don't want if you want it to be a little bit free, you can use 1.5. If you want it to be a little bit free, if you want it to be more free, free you can use a one inch. So please note, take note. If you are making clothes for another person, don't use two. Because it may be somehow tight on the person. Use 1.5 or one inch. So but for this guy, I'm using one inch because I don't want it to to be too choke on him so i'm using one so this will be 8.5 so let me i'm using 8.5 here now so i'm measuring from the shoulder to here 8.5 <laughs> so just rule it straight rule 8.5 from here measure 8.5 now to get a ammo cuff now to be this 8.5 divided by two so i'm having 4.2 that's the center this piece now 4.2 so at this point now measure one inch inward one inch inward so this will make you not to have a pulling by the side of your clothes so now after you measure one inch inward now so we first get our chest so the chest we have here is what is a 38 and the 38 divided by Four will give us nine and a half. So we are measuring nine and a half here, which is a thirty-eight. That's our normal chest. But for sewing allowance, I'm adding one inch for sewing allowance. I'm adding one inch for sewing allowance. So this is where I will cut the clothes from. So now place the French cuff on it. So I roll it. So now, at the waistline now, so to get our waistline, so this depends, if you want to get the waistline, it depends on the measurement, on the length of the caftan. Click on the subscribe button and turn your notification bell, so that you will be notified when I drop the concluding part. Thank you.